Houston, we have a problem. And then my phone goes off. Yay! Okay. Hi, everyone. It's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the battle. We are going to do a battle today of my favorites. And you're going, huh? How they gonna how they gonna battle, Lisa? Well, let's just put up your dukes and get down to it. All right, first battle we're going to do. My two favorite foundations, everybody. You know what they are. Take a guess. You're right. My Guerlain Parer and my L'Oreal Lumni Lumi True Match. One on one side, one on the other. Very expensive versus, you know, if you're lucky, you can get it on sale at Walmart for $8.99. This one, not so much. We're also going to do Ina Mina Mana Moa, one of these. I think we're going to take out Miss Natasha. I'm being silly. I'm going to stop now. Natasha Denona on one eyeball. Right. Um, maybe the nude. We're either going to go with the nude or the glam. The nude or the glam. And I was thinking, well, I can do elf. See what color that is. Mm, dong, 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 da. Elf? Because I was going to do Natasha Denona versus Colourpop, but... What if we do Elf? I mean, we're talking real pharmacy. I mean, this is like $2.97. I got this for $2.97 at Walmart. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We go to battle. Okay, but we do have a problem. Houston, we got a whole bunch of problems down in here today. Let me tell you. Right, we need a primer. I'm going with the same primer all over my face. And you know what primer I want to try? Did I try this? It's the... Um, Charlotte Tilbury, Tilsbury Primer. I can't remember if I tried this on my channel or not, but I got a little mini, so we're gonna try this. Somebody let me know in the comments down below, if you made a Sephora order in the last couple weeks, have you gotten it? I made, today is Thursday. I made a Sephora order Sunday and it's still, I don't know what's going on. And then I think a couple days ago it came out that they let go of all of their employees or some of their employees or part-time employees or temporary employees or something like that. They let them go. Um, at first they were saying that they fired them all, but then on a conference call. But from what I heard, they laid off some or I don't know. For some it's easier if they get laid off or let go to get unemployment during this time in the world of 20 it's only april 2020 and already this year has been like enough just enough already like oh my god 2020 i'm telling you is the year that'll go down in history books where were you when you know ah anyway i'm still not talking about my houston we got a problem though guys i ran out of peanuts i don't know where to get any i literally I'm going to have to go to my convenience store. But my Dollar Tree haven't had peanuts in two months. Um, giant Tiger, my closest Giant Tiger, only gets peanuts like every Saturday if they have them come in. And then I have to be lucky enough to be there by the whole box, you know. So, yeah, I'm out of peanuts. And, I mean, you know, this is not good being here and self-isolation without your favorite snack I, I just don't know what I'm going to do with myself like really don't know you know and I can go to my convenience store because I think they still have them at my convenience store because he got them in because I bought them all last time I went through this but I mean I'm paying like three dollars for two snow well he gives me a discount for the little small packs he gives them two for 250 um and the big boxes, 
I get two for five dollars. Thank God it's taxes and all. Like he gives me a deal because you know, I'm buying them. But anyway, I was talking to my boss a few days ago and I was saying that I'm having a hard time finding paper towels and Lysol wipes. So she sent me this link to this company and said, well, my Guerlain is going on this side, right side. She said, well, try this company. Her husband just bought some things from this company and I guess it gets delivered. <laughs> so instead of me going in and looking for paper towels and Lysol wipes, first thing I do is go gloss at peanuts and they have them. And I'm like, well, I don't know how fast it's going to be delivered, but I guess I'm just going to have to order them that way in the whole box, the whole container, right? So that's what I'm going to have to do. That's what I'm going to have to do. But I don't know. Then it's going to take me how long to get them in the mail? Because, you know, the post ain't working. And does it come in the mail? Or is it like pure later? Because the post ain't working. I mean, yes. Okay, hold up, everybody. Don't get me wrong. The post is working. It's just really slow. I mean, they've shut down hours and stuff like that. I didn't get anything in my mailbox today. And I swear, I got about 10 envelopes I'm supposed to have coming, plus my two pairs of boots. Which, one of my pairs of boots left British Columbia on March 26th. I don't know where they are. I don't know. They went through the whole customs and everything. Um, and le left Burnaby, which I'm assuming is British Columbia, on March 26th. So, Houston, we got a problem there. I mean, can you imagine being in self-isolation without your favorite snack? You know, wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. So, what's the other problem? Oh, yes, another problem. Okay, so, I have a, not a lot of setting sprays, but I have a few setting sprays here. But, I don't have a dewy one. And I ran out of my dewy setting spray. Um, my elf. It's, it's literally all gone now, everybody. It's like, it's gone. It's all gone. It's dead. It's gone. The dewy setting spray. I got this, the pre-glow up mist. And it says it gets your skin glow ready. Spray on mist before or after makeup or on its own. I just don't find that it works as good as my elf. You know, and then I got... This one, the watermelon one, and that's just really hydrating. You know, um, I got a little bit of, I got this a little tiny, like literally that's down to here. And this was the Urban Decay All Nighter that I had from L Grand Prix last year. Like literally that much left. So I mean that lasts, you know, a year. But, and I got the MAC Prep and Prime, which isn't dewy. And I have a Smashbox one, which is a primer, I think. Photo Finish So Chill Coconut Primer Water, right? So that's not dewy. Prep sets and refreshes. Right. So I need to get this. I like that one. Does anyone know of any other setting... Um, sprays that's a dewy setting mist because I just know of the ones that I have right so if you use a good setting spray that also is dewy because I like it like if I wear a natural foundation which I usually don't unless I'm reviewing it but because I like a dewy look so but if I'm wearing a foundation like that I think it really helps elf was really really good I mean that's a really good spray Okay, so hold on everybody. Are you yet? Yeah, you're okay. Hold on. Okay, I put on some lip lip. All right, I want to see which one I kind of like better. So this is the Gurla. Gurla. Um, and this one is L'Oreal. And I know Miss Marsha, if you're watching. Miss Marsha went out and she was texting me about the girl on. She's like, I really want to try it because I know I talk about it all the time. It's, it is my favorite foundation, um, but it's a lot of money. So save your points, save your points, save your PC points, everybody. This is like $100 a bottle. Save your points. I mean, I think a good foundation, like if it's not pharmacy, like one of those, you know, brand foundations, 
$50 is usually um, what most people pay for like one of those name brand foundations, except for pharmacy. It's usually around a $50 mark. So if you can save your points, if you can get it for free, girl, do it. You know, but if you can, you know, for 50 points, that's if you're, for $50, that's if you pay $50 for a foundation. You know what I mean? But if not, save your PC points. There's so much on um, shoppers online that's really really good you know that we can get for free if we save our PC points so we're talking like Armani you know what I mean is Armani is Armani online is Armani any good I don't remember anyone like Armani foundation I I've, I've never tried it but I see it on Sephora okay so what do I think I think my, my Guerlain is giving me just a little tiny bit more coverage. But like in regards to shade, and I like, I don't know. I don't know if it's just my face and it's cracking, but I can see that Guerlain is like covering up my cracks more than my L'Oreal is. But the way it looks on my skin is almost the same, only this looks more natural and pressed in than the L'Oreal um, compared to Guerlain. Uh, yeah, compared to Guerlain. I, I can see the difference between the two. Totally see the difference between the two. Wow, I got some puffy eyes today. Okay, I'm going to get close so you can see. Too close. That's a song. Okay, okay, what are we doing? Okay, we're gonna put on some concealer. Oh, I gotta tell you a story. I'm telling you, this bug has got the world. I mean, not gone crazy, because I probably would have done the same thing. But let me tell you what I did. Which one did I use yesterday? I didn't really like it, because I don't know. I had like five hours sleep. So my eyes are really puffy, so I gotta watch the foundation or the concealer that I wear. So I had to go to my doctor today, and I had to take a bus because Ian's at work. Um, and I have to tell you that there's not a lot of people on the buses that I have to take. I don't have to go downtown or anything like that. I had to take two buses. Well, no, that's not true. I Ubered up to my doctor because I was I wasn't late. Um, they told me my appointment was at 12.30, but then the assistant called at like 10.30 going, where are you? And I'm like, what do you mean, where am I? My appointment's not till 12.30. And she's like, no, it's always in the morning. I'm like, when I was there last week, there was a strange girl, and she told me I had to come at 12.30. So, or a few weeks ago. Anyway, so she's like, oh, well, he's kind of hoping you're going to be here very soon. I'm like, okay, well, the school did the thing. Madison, um went online with her teacher and her class that was so cute all the kids just I think they just think they're I don't know like big kids now because they're having their class online so um, he set that up today and it was just like a high welcome kind of thing so she liked that anyway so I had to uber up because you know I had to set her up and I was there for like 20 minutes setting her up and listening and stuff and then I had to go and I'm like I better get an uber because he wants me to come as soon as possible. So I did that. So then, of course, I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to get a bus home because, you know, like, Ubers aren't cheap, right? So I get on the bus. And I had a mask. Ian's like, you have to wear a mask. So he, one of his parents had a mask, so they gave me a mask. I had five pairs of gloves, the rubber gloves, in my purse. So, meanwhile, when I leave my apartment, I have on gloves, I'm in the Uber. When I get into the doctor's office, I take off my gloves. I have to use the washroom. Um, wash my hands, come out, put on new gloves, leave my doctor's office, get on the bus. And then I had to go pee again. Girl, you're not going to believe what happened. So I'm texting Veronica, because she lives around the area that I'm at, right? 
I'm texting Veronica and I'm like, oh my God, I have to pee. Like, I had to pee so bad. You know when you have to pee so bad, you're literally squeezing your legs. And at one point you're like, I have to put my hand between my legs because I really need to go pee. And then it starts hurting in your JJ area because you have to go pee. I was like that on a bus going, okay, I need to find a place to go pee. I need to get off this bus. So I get off the bus around the area where there's a mall. I walk into Popeye's and I'm like, okay, I'll buy food. If I need to go pee, no, you can't use the bathroom. Walmart was next to it. There was a lineup to get into Walmart. Next to that was Food Basics. There's a lineup to get into the Food Basics. Um, then I go around the corner. I go into the dollar store. No, you can't pee in here. There are two police officers standing outside the liquor store, the LCBO. And I thought about it afterwards but I should have stopped them and asked them if they can help me go pee you know they would if, if I had to stop holding my legs like I was I think the police officers would have helped me would have brought me into the store and said she needs to go pee let her go pee right so anyways I go no nope, dollar store said nope can't pee in here everything no one's allowed to pee can't do it sorry go away you know I might be infected, right? I'm like, oh my God, I'm, I'm not the walking dead. I just gotta go pee. And now this time, it's like, the pee is about, I'm telling you, I am five seconds away from the pee running down my leg. I swear to God, it was at that point where it was like, this is getting really painful and I can't hold this anymore. I have to walk across the street because the mall entrance. Now, meanwhile, I'm not walking around anybody. I'm doing my social distancing and all that stuff, you know, not touching anything. Didn't touch anything on the bus. Literally was using my elbows. I didn't have to touch anything. You know, I'm, we're doing what we got to do, right? I had to walk down the street. I walked into a Burger King. Now, the door was open. I walk on in. There's people cooking. I'm standing there for like five minutes. There's a garbage can next to where you go down to the bathrooms that says bathrooms out of order. And I'm like, I know they're not out of order, okay? So I'm standing there for like five minutes, and this girl turns around, and she's like, what are you doing in here? You're not supposed to be in here. I'm like, well, the door was open. And she's, and now I'm standing, literally standing up, and I'm holding my legs, and I'm bouncing, looking at her. I'm like, I will order food, but I need to go pee. And she's like, you can't pee in here. And I looked at her, I said, lady, if I can't pee in that bathroom, I'm taking some of your napkins and I'm gonna go pee behind the building. And I was dead on serious. No word of a lie. I was serious. I was going pee. I don't care who you were. I was gonna go pee. And the cops can come arrest me. I don't care. I was peeing. That was it. Or it was running down my leg. And she looked at me and she's like, okay, well, I gotta ask my manager. And I said, you know what? Why don't you just turn around? Because no one here has seen me yet. And I'm just going to go in the bathroom. She goes, I'm going to go lock the door. I said, you do that. She locked the door. Make sure no one else got in. And I went peed. Oh, my. I swear to God, I was peeing for 10 minutes. I swear to God. There was nothing left in my bladder. Holy Hannah, Lord. Oh, my God. It was the, oh, so frustrating. And all the stress. You're walking in the road. You're making sure that you don't go near anybody. And... Oh my God, Oh, it's so stressful. And it's like, girl, I mean, when I walked in the dollar store and asked her if I can go pee, she's like, no, you're not peeing in here. And I'm looking like, lady, I've been walking for 10 minutes now. I really need to go pee. Well, I'm sorry, you're not peeing in here. Really? Really? With the mask on and the gloves and you won't let me pee? Oh my God. Fun times. Anyway, I finally got to go pee. Woohoo, Lisa got to go pee. I'm looking for a bronzer. Here we go, Ofra. So I went to go pee, and then I ordered freaking Burger King, which I don't even like Burger King. Like, literally, I don't like Burger King. And I ordered Burger King. So thank you to the girl at Burger King who let me go pee. I appreciate you. You appreciate it, you know? And I don't think her manager realized either. Like, we got away with it, you know? My God. And then, of course, I had to change my gloves again. So, five pairs of gloves. Oh, my goodness. What a day. What a day. So, yeah. Now it's Thursday. 
bowling's canceled, obviously. And I remember when I told Ian bowling was canceled two weeks ago, he's like, yeah, it's only going to be shot down for two weeks. And I'm like, are you kidding me? There's no more bowling, honey. Not Maybe there might be bowling in September. Maybe. Yeah. So no bowling. Fabulous. We're all in the same boat, you know? I just don't know. Like, oh my God, my Uber driver today was telling me that yesterday, I think he was down by Weston Road dropping somebody off or something like that. And he said there was a group of 15 kids playing soccer. Come on, people. You know, like, really? You're going to let your kids outside to play soccer with other kids? And he's like, well, you know, they're not, like, beating each other up. And the Uber driver was like, I couldn't believe I seen that, right? And I said, well, you know what you got to do next time, Uber driver, when you see stuff like that happening? Because there's a number you can call to let the people in charge know, hey, there's a group of people. So you got to do You got to do it. You got to call. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, we'll never get out of this situation if people just don't stay home. And, like, I had to go to my doctor. If I didn't have a doctor's appointment, I would have been home, you know. And if it wasn't for the fact that I was going to pee my pants on the bus, I wouldn't have got off the bus. I would have just went straight on my bus and came straight on home. Do you know what I mean? Like, there was no, I'm just going to go gallivanting around the area for the sake of it. No. And, you know, the thing is, like, when you're sitting at home, you don't, I mean, unless you're looking at the news and staring at that all day, which, that's depressing, so don't do that, you know? But you're not, I don't say you're not stressing out, you know what I mean? Like, you know what's going on in the world and stuff like that, but you're sitting at home, relax, you know? You're not going outside, you don't have to go outside, stay inside, then... And no one's coming inside your house. You know, you're safe, right? You don't need to have a panic attack. You don't need to have a heart attack. As long as you're inside and no one's coming inside your house, you are safe, right? But, so you just go about your day. But when you go outside and you see other people outside, and I think that's when it really affects you, like when you see people with the masks on and the gloves on and you go into a store and there's literally like tape stand here stand here or you have to wait outside a store to get in and do you know that's when it like really freaks you out i mean not that it's not freaking you out now but it hits you you know like bam right in the head you know what i mean yeah this is kind of crazy <sighs> so all i want to say is if you see people and it's a group of people, more than two, you know, that ain't supposed to, well, I mean, you know, if your husband and wife or kid and a mom are going for a walk, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, you know, um, as long as they're staying on their own side kind of thing, right? But if you know someone's having a party down the street, like Easter is coming, everybody, I guarantee you there's going to be a lot of phone calls made to all the numbers, the 311 or whatever it is in your area, because people are not going to comply. You know, you can't have a big Easter celebration. It's whoever lives in your house, and that's it, right? You know, nuts. Nuts. And it's just like, come on, people, just stay home so we can have this over and done with and live a normal life again. Gee, I don't get it. Okay, I had a blush. Oh, no, a highlight. What time are we? Oh, we're only 23 minutes, because that's not what I do. I gab, and I gab, and I gab, and I don't shut up. That's who I am. I'm 45 years old. I ain't going to change now, because someone might not like a long video, you know? I mean, I used to make short videos once upon a time, but now I like to gab. And I think I like to gab because I'm lonely, you know? I mean, I don't have friends that, you know... When you're in high school and you used to call your friends and talk to them on the phone for hours, now it's texting, right? But you're my friends. So I sit here and I pretend that you're here in front of me and we're just having a regular normal conversation like you would, right? Sometimes I wish I could hear what you say back, you know. Um, but hopefully you'll leave a comment and that way I can feel like you're talking back. Do you know what I mean? So leave a comment.
I like comments. I read everyone's comments. Everybody's comments. I can get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. I reach for my phone to see if somebody left me a comment. True story. Like this morning. Oh, my God. I woke up. 5 o'clock. Went to bed at 12. Got up at 5. Had to go pee. Because, you know, that happens. All right. We need a spray. I'm going to go in with this one, I suppose. Candy Cosmetics Pre-Glow Up Mist. I don't really need... A glow up for this foundation for the lump for the L'Oreal or for the girl on but I'm just gonna put it on I'm gonna break my mirror look it's getting loose oh my god and I have yet to see another mirror like this at the Dollar Tree where I found it okay guys I'm gonna put on some eyeshadow primer and then we're gonna come back with um, the palettes okay where's the elf okay so this is the elf we're gonna put on one eye and we're gonna see which one we're gonna Pair it again. So this is Natasha Denona. Ooh, this is almost the same. Look. The dark brown, the light. Right, it's almost the same. Okay, so that's the Glam Natasha Denona. And this is Natasha Denona um, Nude Mini. Right. I think maybe the shimmer, one of the shimmers is almost the same. But I think we're going to go in with the Glam Palette because I haven't used a Glam Palette in, oh my God, I think I used it in Jamaica and that's the last time I played with it. That was a long time ago. So that's what we're going to do. One on one eye, one on the other eye. Do you know what I forgot to do? Of course, I forgot to figure out what I was going to do with BoxyCharm. So I ended up getting premium and oh my God. $58.85 is what premium costs this month with the conversion rate. That is crazy. Okay, what did I do? Okay, so we're putting, I'm going to put e.l.f. over here on this side because e.l.f. is um, going to go on the L'Oreal side. Yeah. Can you imagine that? 58 Canadian dollars for the premium box. I still don't know any other spoilers. All I know is the choices, which I picked that bloody primer, and I don't know why I did. I don't even want it. Um, or we're going to get one of the four other ones, that Pharmacy Glow Mask or the three eyeshadow palettes. Or we're either going to get Natasha Denona bronzer blush thingy or some kind of moisturizer from some company somewhere. That's all I know about the premium. And I honestly, I think the base box is better this month. For, I do, I really think the base box is better um, because at least, you know, the first three items that everybody is getting, it's good. Do you know what I'm saying? But I don't know about that other one. What's the other one called? Okay, this one's got like a green speck in it, the Glam Palette. Yeah, the first three items, I think, for the base box, they look okay that everyone should be getting. And then the variations look really good, too. You know what I mean? Make sure, guys, if you're getting the base box or even the premium box, make sure you got your profile done because they did say they're going by profile. So, like, if, if you don't like eyelashes, write down and say in the profile you don't like eyelashes because eyelashes, you know, are going to be um, one of the variations. But I'm like, I wouldn't mind a Baddington eyelashes. It's so funny because a year ago, I would have been like, I don't want any freaking lashes. But I don't mind the Baddington eyelashes. And they had um, cute brushes. They had some sponges. There was something else too. Maybe it was two different kinds of sponges. I can't remember. For the variation for the base box. Okay, so this shade is the Natasha Denona. That light shade is giving off more color than the elf let's go back into so the elf is more like a nude you see totally different um shades there this is a brown but it's almost got like a green tint into it and the elf is a really really nude shade right so yeah I almost like, 
I think I want the base box, you know, which is like Lisa, you can't get the base box because you got that premium. 60 freaking dollars. Oh my God. And watch, I'm going to get a box that I don't like. That, that's why I should have canceled it. I really should have canceled it because I'm going to end up getting a, a palette I don't want. And I don't want the moisturizer. And I bet you I'll get that. So that's $60 in the world, you know, when we can't afford to waste your money on things you're not going to use, right? Not smart at all. So yeah, I haven't seen um, any more spoilers for the premium box. So I don't know. And this Zoeva company, this palette Zoeva that's coming in BoxyCharm, are they any good? Oh my God, one of my 30 minutes? Well, of course you are, Lisa, because you wouldn't be you if you weren't 30 minutes putting on your eyeshadow. I don't know if they're any good. Someone let me know in the comments down below, have you ever tried eyeshadow from this company before? Are they like, you know, a well-known brand? I've never heard of them. You know, is it like a company like <laughs> Bella Pierre? <laughs> right? Oh my God. Lord lift me soul. So yeah, that's what I did. End up getting that freaking premium box. I'm scared, y'all. Yeah. But now they did say that either coming up in May or June, there's gonna be an Natasha Denona Mini in um, the regular box, the base box. I'm like, well, great then. Why would you want the, you know? I did it, didn't I? Am I doing this, did I? Crackers. No, that's that's a Denona, but I don't know if I put the right brown on Denona. Did I? This is Denona and the girl on side. And this one is the elf side. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I probably screwed that up, y'all. Anyway, we're going in with shimmer. Okay, so I'm going to use this shimmer here and I'm gonna use this shimmer right here we're gonna try a brush brush okay so what is this Natasha all right we're gonna take a brush first into Miss Denona and she is coming on the lid um, tap how we doing She's there, but you know, she could come on a little bit better, right? Okay, now we're gonna go in the e.l.f. And we haven't wet these brushes either. Oh, wow. I think the e.l.f. came on better with the brush. Wow, you sure did. Maybe, I think this shade is more like the one I just put on from Natasha Denona. Yes. Look at e.l.f. applying very nicely with the brush. Compared to Miss Denona. Oh, girl. Are you going to take that? Are you going to take that from Elle? Huh? All right. Now we're going to go in with the finger. All right. I could have wet the brush, but I didn't do it. Because you know what? I find that no matter how well the brush is, the finger <laughs> is always better. I said that. Yes, I did. I did. You heard me. I said it. Don't quote me, you know. Well, you can actually, because it's true. But you know what I mean, right? Okay. So now what? Oh, Lord. The elf's got a lot of fallout on my face. It could have been me, though, too, with my fingers 34 minutes. What do we think of it? Well... You know, to be honest, my eyes are crinkly anyways. I find the e.l.f. is probably a little bit more crinklier than um, Natasha Denona, truthfully. But they're both brilliant. Okay, now we're going to take... Lord. Okay, this is Elf. I'm just going to put this in my here. 
and I'm gonna take this here. Okay, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna put on some mascara. Okay, why do I, I just feel like I look like a mess or something. Okay, so what do I think of the foundations compared against each other in the battle? Um, I do like my Guerlain side better. I just feel like it's more natural looking, whereas all of my bumps and you know cracks and stuff are more out there um, with the L'Oreal. But I do love this foundation. I wear L'Oreal just about, you know, every day to work, right? Um, I do love it, but I can tell the difference between the two. And maybe that's why there's a price difference as well, right? Um, I love the shade. I just find this one here looks more natural, whereas when I look at the L'Oreal, you know, being so close, I can see that it's foundation like around here, whereas I can't here. It just looks like my skin. Do you know what I'm saying? The eyeshadow palettes, both are great. One big difference in the eyeshadow palettes is I have a lot of fallout here from the e.l.f. Um, now, don't get me wrong. I get fallout as well from Natasha Denona's palettes. That happens, right? But there is fallout. Um, the shimmer for the e.l.f. went on with a brush a lot better than the shimmer from this Natasha Denona. But I... I like both of them. I do find that the Elf's got my lids a little bit crinkly. Like the shimmer is a little bit crinklier compared to the Natasha Denona shimmer on my lids. Um, it doesn't look as crinkly. Um, I mean, and, and the browns were fine. Yes. But I, I'm a shimmery, shiny mess up around here. And you can... You see what I'm talking about? Like, right here? Can you see that? I don't know. Like, my pores are more noticeable here than they are on this side. I can see the difference. Anyways, that's my battle. I'm going to be uploading um, brown paper packages now. Right. Okay. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me how your day is going. What did you do with BoxyCharm? What did you think of the prices? Oh my God, and how much is the BoxyCharm base box now? That's insane, right? And if you happen to know another spoiler for the premium box, please let me know. Bye, love you.